Yeah, Evan, and it's already causing some controversy. One state lawmaker tells me he believes his plan from the governor violates current compacts the state has with several of the largest tribes. But the governor says his plan falls well within the law. Why did you want to put out this proposal for sports betting in Oklahoma? Yeah, well, first off, uh, you know, we already have gambling in Oklahoma. We've got about 135 casinos, and, and I've heard from from people that bet on sports, they're already going to other states. And so let's roll it out the correct way. As KOCO5 first reported, Oklahoma Governor Kevin Stitt unveiled his proposed plan for sports betting on Thursday. In-person betting conducted by the tribes would be taxed at 15% and mobile betting would be taxed at 20%. We're only going to do 20% uh, because I'm trying to do the average of what I'm seeing in other states. Uh, to make sure it's fair for Oklahoma. But the tribe, specifically those represented by the Oklahoma Indian Gaming Association, take issue with how the governor's proposal was rolled out. They said to date the governor has not engaged in meaningful and respectful government-to-government -government discussion with the tribes. How do you respond to that? Well, obviously, uh, the tribes are going to want an exclusive right, and they're going to want something that only benefits them. And I'm thinking about what's best for Oklahoma. Uh, but we don't need the tribe's permission uh, to offer legislation for Oklahoma. It makes no sense whatsoever and, and certainly uh, will be legally challenged. State Rep Ken Luttrell, who's tried to get sports betting out of the legislature the past two sessions, argues the proposal can't move forward because of agreements already on the books. We've granted the exclusive rights to gaming to the tribes here in the state of Oklahoma. Right now, the governor is proposing to offer mobile sports betting licenses to any gaming company, even those not run by a tribe. I'm no legal expert, but I know how the compacts read, and I know that the governor's plan on outsourcing the mobile betting part of it violates the compacts. Do you worry about a possible lawsuit from this uh, move if you were to move forward with these in, with these sort of different uh, licenses? Sportsbook is not part of casino gambling today. Uh, you also have the lottery that's operated by the state. Um, other states have tribes that have rolled this out the exact same way with mobile sportsbook. So not worried about that uh, at all. And with this plan now rolled out, the governor wants lawmakers here at the state capitol to put it into a bill and pass it so he can sign it into law.